Hello there guys, this is WinClient5270 again. Um, today I've decided to kind of go back to my roots, I guess. Um, as I have, just I just happened to be browsing through my files on my Hackintosh machine the other day and uh, came across uh, this theme that I made for uh, Windows 98. Um, you may recall back in 2017, uh, I made a video called uh, Windows 98 Transformed into Windows 7 where I took Windows 98 and I made it look like Windows 7 as the title obviously suggests but um, you may remember at the end of that video I said that I was going to be making Windows 7 transformed into Windows 8 um, because back then I was still making those types of videos but eventually I just kinda lost interest and I ended up never completing that video um, however I did make a theme and I found the original files for it on my Hackintosh machine so I decided well, not, why not make a video on it and release it so while this video is not in depth as those videos are in terms of making Windows 98 look like another operating system um, I still think this theme is pretty impressive for what it is so if we open up the revolutions pack here you'll need to install this by the way you'll need to install revolutions pack for Windows 98 and I'll include a link to it in the description below. Um, just download and install it and uh, you should be able to apply visual themes to your Windows 98 installation as you can see here. Uh, it looks quite a lot like Windows 8. It's a little bit of rough around the edges but you know for Windows 98 I think it's pretty impressive that I've managed to make it look this close to Windows 8. Um, but anyway you just download and install the Revolutions Pack software and um, then what you'll do is you'll download the uh, Windows 98 to Windows 8 pack that I've put together here and uh, all you have to do is just copy all of these theme files to uh, your local disk uh, Windows and uh, resources it's just like just like how you do in Windows XP basically so resources themes and you're gonna copy all those themes into this folder and uh, then you'll run the Windows 8.reg file and click yes and I've already done it so I don't have to do it again obviously um, and then well you'll copy all these folders except this one here where it says Windows 8 toolbar icons uh, that one you won't copy to this directory but you'll copy it to the icons folder which is in the same directory it's neighboring this one if you just go in here see Windows resources icons you'll paste that folder into here and you'll get the Windows 8 style toolbar icons up here as you can see and uh, once you go to uh, revolutions pack after you've done all that just open up revolutions pack and uh, you'll get all these themes in here all these different uh, colors and you'll get the Windows 8 toolbar icons down here at the bottom you'll just double click on that down there and then you'll double click on whatever theme you want um, I've included both the Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 style themes so this one I'm running right now it says Windows 8 default purple however the one below it as you can see it says no start button so we'll apply that one just to kind of show you what that looks like and as you can see down there in the corner the start menu, the uh, start button rather disappeared and uh, you may wonder well does the start menu still work well yes it does if you go down in the corner and click just like in the real Windows 8 operating system um, the start menu the classic start menu in this case will open um, I didn't bother making like a start screen or anything because I don't I'm not familiar with coding and I don't know anything about how to do that so I didn't go with that in depth um, I don't plan on making any more videos where I go into really great depth in making Windows 98 look like anything because it's kinda of pointless in my opinion but since I already had this thing made up I thought why not just release it since no one else has done it but anyway you may also notice the little graphic here on the start menu I'll include that in the transformation pack as well I'll open it up again and show you right there it is in the start menu folder and uh, all you have to do is modify explorer.exe with resource hacker I've got it open here on my Vista host um, as you can see you just go to the local drive and the Windows folder on your Windows 98 installation and open the explorer.exe file with resource hacker and you'll go to the bitmap section and 
click on bitmap number 157 and you'll just right click on it and click replace bitmap and then browse to the bitmap in the transformation pack and then save it and uh, all you have to do is restart in MS-DOS mode and replace the original explorer file which by the way you need, you need to back that up before you replace it can't stress that enough but anyway you just replace the original explorer file with the modified version in MS-DOS mode and then boot back into Windows and you should have the updated start menu graphic and um, now when you first install Revolutions Pack to get the Windows 8 icons what you'll do first is you'll just you'll double click on the Vista icons here and then you'll paste that Windows 8 folder in and then you'll double click on it and because the the Vista icon pack it has a lot of the same icons as Windows 8 does so when you apply them uh, that'll it'll take care of most of your icons like the recycle bin icon and the computer icon and stuff like that it it covers that but this one will only take care of your toolbar icons for you so you'll you'll run the Vista toolbar icon set first and then or the system icon set and then you'll double click on this one after that and then you'll get the proper icons except for a few of them which I'm going to include in the transformation pack um, as well as the, all of the Windows 8 and 8.1 wallpapers they're included as well um, but anyway you just go to the icons folder and as you can see I've put in quite a few icons here and uh, what you'll do to apply those is you'll download and install icon tweaker which by the way requires the kernel X software um, which I'll put a link to in the description as well because this software normally only runs on Windows XP um, but can be made to run on Windows 98 with kernel X which is pretty simple to do you just download and install kernel X and then you install this afterwards and it, it works just fine But as you can see here you can apply the icons all throughout your system just using this program it's pretty self-explanatory I won't go over that very much but as you can see here's the start menu icons if you go down here and you can see they match up and anyway it's enough of that um, another thing you may notice is the taskbar has no text labels on the program icons the running program icons as you can see I've got Word 97 open and Explorer window and the registry editor they're all three open and they don't have text labels and it's pretty easy to do that all you have to do is open the registry editor so you just you go to run and then type in regedit the run command here type in regedit and this will come up and you go to H key current user control panel desktop and window metrics so you'll right click in here and click on new and click on string value and uh, you'll call it min width as you can see I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again but be careful in here don't delete anything I'm just deleting this one key here that I made because it's not necessary but you'll make one called min width and uh, you'll put in negative 255 for the value data and click OK and then once you log off and log back on again you'll have the iconized taskbar like in Windows 8 and 7 and so on but anyway um, as you can see the Windows 8 theme it's pretty accurate to the real Windows 8 um, I'd have to say um, so I'm gonna go ahead I'll showcase some of the colors some of the ones that I like anyway I'm not gonna show all of them but as you can see this one it doesn't have a start button I, if you go through and look at all these themes they're, they're all they either have no start button or it'll say Windows 8.1 so all of them that say Windows 8 have no start button because that's that that by saying Windows 8 I'm meaning that you're going to make it look like the original Windows 8 that was released in 2012 not Windows 8.1 because if you click on the Windows 8.1 theme um, I'll go ahead and I'll select the orange one I don't really care for it but it matches the default Windows 8.1 theme but as you can see when I clicked on it it brought the start button back and uh, all you have to do now you go into the transformation pack and uh, the default Windows 8.1 wallpaper should be in here somewhere I can find it it's 
hard to do anything without thumbnails in Windows 98. There we go. Found it. And you'll just set it as your wallpaper. And as you can see, it looks a lot like a default Windows 8.1 installation now. Um, but yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't really have to go too in-depth, but I'll show off this one. I think it looks kind of cool. It's the black Windows 8 theme. I think it goes pretty good with a particular wallpaper in here, if I can find it. It's hard to, again, sorry, it's hard to do anything without a thumbnail to, to see. There we go. I like this one. I think it goes good with that one. But, yep. Yeah. That's about it for this video, I reckon. Don't really have anything else to show. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video because I'm probably not going to make too many of these on Windows 98 anyway. Um, but I'm not quite sure what my next video is going to be yet. I'm still thinking about what I want to do. But I'm going to hopefully start uploading more frequently, maybe mm, probably once every other week maybe a little bit more often than that because I'm not quite as busy as I was before but anyway um, with that said thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one